Hey there, Marshall from Code Kid here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Minecraft mods on Minecraft. Now, there are multiple ways to install mods from Minecraft. There are some mod managers, something like MultiMC or the CurseForge app that make it easier to install mod packs, big collections of mods, and can make it easier to, to manage those and swap those around. This video is not gonna cover those kind of mod managers. It's only gonna show you how to install mods directly. So this is great if you have a specific mod you wanna download, or you made a mod in one of our Code Kid courses, and you want to install it and run it on Minecraft, this is going to show you how to install mods and run mods directly from the jar files. Installing mods is pretty straightforward. There's just a few steps you need to follow. Step one is to make sure that you have Minecraft Java installed on your computer. If you own Minecraft, you now own both copies, Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock, but these mods are only gonna work for the Minecraft Java edition. So make sure you've downloaded and installed the Minecraft Java edition on your computer. As you can see, I already have my shortcut here ready to go. Minecraft is up and running, I have tested it. Step two is to install Minecraft Forge. Now, Minecraft Forge is a piece of software that makes it much, much easier to develop Minecraft mods. And most Minecraft mods use Minecraft Forge, require Minecraft Forge in order to run. So we're gonna be installing Minecraft Forge now. Go ahead and open up any web browser you want. I'm using Firefox, but again, pretty much any web browser will work. Once you have your web browser open, you're just gonna go up to the address bar and type in files.mine minecraftforge.net. This link is also in the description for the video, so you can click on it there, or you can type it in yourself, but go to files.minecraftforge.net, and that's going to bring up the download installation page for Minecraft Forge. Here on the website, you can see all the different versions of Minecraft Forge available uh, from the current version all the way back to 1.1. And what version you're gonna wanna download depends on which mods you wanna run. Mods are made for a specific version of Minecraft. Most common mods are updated to the most popular. 1.19 just came out, so 1.18 mods are the most common, 1.18.2. If you're trying to install one of the mods you made with Kodakid in our Kodakid Minecraft modding courses, you're gonna want version 1.18, Minecraft modding 1.18. But again, it really depends on what version of mods, what mods you wanna run. So most mods right now are for 1.18.2, so that's the version I'm gonna download. It's already selected over here in the sidebar, but if it wasn't, you could go ahead and find it in here. Just find the version you want, go to that page. It should say uh, Minecraft Forge, then the version you want. And then you're gonna wanna download the install. Okay, there's a section over here that says download recommended. Find recommended and then click on the installer button. This installer will work for both Windows and Mac. Go ahead and click on that to go to the download page. Now, it's gonna bring you here. You're gonna get some kind of advertisement. Do not click on anything in the middle of the page here. This is not what you want. Up here in the top right, there's a countdown. And when it finally finishes counting down, it's going to change to a button that says skip. This is what you want. Click on the skip button. Again, never click on anything in the page here. This is just an ad. Click on the skip button up here to start your download and it shouldn't take very long, it's a very small file, and once you're all downloaded, we can go on to step three, which is actually running the installer, installing Minecraft Forge. So I installed Minecraft Forge into my downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up, and you can see right here it says Forge 1.18.2. It should say whatever version you downloaded. All you have to do for uh, once you find this file is double click on it to run it, and it's going to bring up the installer. Just give it a second. It's gonna ask you if you wanna install the client or the server. We're just installing mods on the client right now, so leave this checked on client, and then click on OK, and that's going to start the install process. So give this a minute. It may take a minute or two, depending on your computer, on the specs of your your computer, uh, but be patient, let it install. When it's all done, it'll tell you the installation is done, and you can come back to this video. We'll go on to the next step, which is actually downloading and installing some mods into Minecraft. Okay, once you get this pop-up that says successfully installed, you are good to go, click on OK. You can also close this browser window, and we have Minecraft Forge installed on our computer. Now, how do we check if that actually installed? Well, it's easy, you go to Minecraft, open up Minecraft, uh, however you do that, I have a shortcut on my desktop, but go ahead and open up Minecraft, however you do that, uh, and go ahead and uh, go to this launcher page, but don't click on play just yet. So if you look down here in the bottom left, this tells you what version of Minecraft you are about to launch. Now, if you don't have Minecraft Forge installed, it's probably just gonna say uh, whatever the latest version of Minecraft is. But you can see mine now says Forge 1.18.2. That is the version of Minecraft that we want to run. This is the Forge version of Minecraft, the, one, uh, the version that allows us to load and run mods. So it 
it should say Forge 1.18.2 or whatever version you downloaded here. If it doesn't, click on this drop down arrow and look for it in this list, okay? There should be a Forge option. If there's not, something might have gone wrong with the installer, go ahead and try running that installer again. But if it says Forge in here, go ahead and click on that. And that means you've installed Forge correctly and you're all good to go. Now, how do we actually install mods into Minecraft? Well, the first step is to actually get a mod that you want to install. Now, there are lots of places to get Minecraft mods on the internet. It's all over the place. Uh, but one website that I like to use that's fairly safe, reputable, is uh, minecraftmods.com. The link for that is also in the description as well. Go ahead and visit that website. This has a nice big list of mods that you can install into Minecraft tons of stuff. There's pages upon pages of mods and each one will tell you what version it is for. So these all say 1.18.2 because at the time of recording, that's the most recent version uh, for Minecraft modding, 1.18.2. So lots of different mods you can install from this page. You have tons and tons of options. So go ahead and just find something that you want that's for the correct version. You'll see these say 1.18.1. They may work with 1.18.2, but there's no guarantee. You probably want to find the actual version 1.18.2 you are looking for, or alternatively, go back and install the correct version of Forge uh, that you want for a mod. If a mod, for instance, is 1.17.1, you can go ahead and download that version of Forge from the website, but you can't use multiple versions at the same time. You can only run one version of Minecraft Forge at a time. So if you want to, want to run some 1.17.1 mods and some 1.18.2 mods, well, you can't run them at the same time. So just for testing, I'm going to go back to the main page here, the first page. I'm going to download this mod called Sophisticated Backpacks. That sounds fun. I'm always running out of room in Minecraft in my inventory, and this backpack system sounds interesting. So I'm going to download it by going to the page. It'll give me some more information about how the mod works, which is great. But I'm just going to come down here to the bottom and I'm going to click on the download button. Okay. And that's going to start downloading after just a second here, start downloading the mod for me. And like I said, there's lots of places to download mods. You don't have to download them from minecraftforge.com. It's just a website that I like to use. Okay. So there we go. My Minecraft download is done. It's down here in my downloads folder. I have sophisticated backpacks 1.18.2. So now the question is, how do I install this into Minecraft? Well, it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to close this browser window. I'm going to go back to Minecraft. I'm going to launch Minecraft with Forge enabled 1.18.2. I'm going to click on play. That's going to launch the game. Give it a minute. It takes a minute to start up uh, Minecraft, potentially a little bit longer than you're used to because it has to load Forge as well. But give it a second, pause this video, let Minecraft launch, then come on back once you're on the Minecraft main menu. And we'll go on to the next step of actually installing the mod into Minecraft. Okay, here I am on the Minecraft main menu and it should look mostly the same, but slightly different. Okay. The big difference is down here. It says Forge. That's how we know it launched with Forge, Forge and whatever version we're on. And then there's a mods button here, which was not there before. Go ahead and click on the mods button now. And that should bring up a list of all the mods you have installed, which at the moment is nothing. I have Minecraft, which is just Minecraft, and I have Forge, which is going to help me load uh, Minecraft mods, but it doesn't really do anything on its own. So here's where we're actually going to install the Minecraft mod. It's really easy to install a mod. All you have to do is take the mod.jar file that you downloaded and put it in the correct folder. Where is that folder? Well, fortunately, Minecraft Forge makes this easy for us. On recent modern versions of Forge, there should be a button down here in the bottom left of this page that says Open Mods folder. And this is great because no matter if you're on PC or Mac, it's going to open up the correct folder. You don't have to go hunting for it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that to open it up. And you can see here, it's opened up this empty folder. There's no mods in here. All I have to do to install my Minecraft mods is drag that jar file into this folder. So I have my downloads folder over here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that and drag it over. Okay. You can also right click and once it pops up, copy and right click and paste. However you want to do it, it doesn't matter. Just make sure the jar file makes it into this folder. And again, it's going to be a different folder on Mac, but it's the same process. Just make sure the jar file makes it into the folder that opens up when you click on the open mods folder. And there we go. Now we have our Minecraft mod installed. All we have to do is go back to Minecraft. We have to restart it because we can't uh, load them on the fly. We have to restart Minecraft every time we put new mods in there, but we're going to restart Minecraft. And now we should have our mod installed. It should be running and ready to go. So go ahead and open up Minecraft again. Go ahead and launch Minecraft again with the exact same Minecraft Forge profile. Come on, Minecraft. There we go. Go ahead and launch Minecraft again with the exact same Forge profile. And now we should have our mod installed. It says Forge 1.18.2 still. We're good to go. I'm going to click on play and I'll see you all on the main menu of Minecraft. 
Okay, we're back in Minecraft. I'm gonna go ahead and full screen at this time. And now if I go to that mods tab, okay, we should see there's a new mod in here. We have sophisticated backpacks, okay? The mod is loaded, it is in the game. That is a good sign that it should be working. So let's go ahead and launch the game and see if it's actually in here. I'm gonna go to single player, gonna make a new creative mode world just so I can test this very quickly. Uh, I'm gonna launch that. And now we should have whatever mods we installed. In my case, I'm gonna have some fancy new backpacks available, but you know, there could be anything really depending on what mod you installed there's tons of mods out there to add all sorts of crazy stuff to minecraft new items new weapons new uh, creatures mobs bosses whole new dimensions the possibilities are uh, practically limitless so go ahead and wait for it to create a new world and then we'll go ahead and see if our new mod is working correctly okay here i am in game it's giving me some instructions here don't worry minecraft i already know how to play i've played quite a bit of minecraft i'm going to go ahead and open up my inventory and i'm going to see what's in here i'm going to go to the well actually i don't know what tab the backpacks would be on oh they have their own backpack tab i'm going to come over here and boom you can see i have all these cool backpacks that are not normally in the game you can say i can put it down oopsies well, I don't know how to drop it. Maybe you crouch. There we go. I can put my backpack down. I can open it up. I can now carry a lot of extra stuff in Minecraft. This would be great if you're going on a long mining trip and your inventory gets filled up with all sorts of junk. You can just throw it in the backpack and uh, carry it around with you. So this mod seems awesome uh, and I'm really glad I installed it. And that's pretty much it. You've now officially installed Minecraft Forge, installed the mod for it, and you know how to install more Minecraft mods. If you want more mods, just download them, drop them in that same folder. You can have multiple mods installed and run the game. I uh, Again, if you need to run multiple versions of the game, if you want to run a mod from 1.17 and 1.18, well, you can't do them together. You have to only run one version at a time, but that's pretty much it. Congratulations. I hope you have a lot of fun modding Minecraft. It really opens with the possibilities. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the comment section below the video. From all of us here at Kodakid, happy Minecraft modding.